According to Framestore's visual effects supervisor Jonathan Faulkner, it's hard to portray a scene of speed in empty space as there is often nothing in the background but a pitch black nothingness. And seeing as director James Gunn wanted many quick moving camera shots, the team were given the go ahead to propagate space plasma about the void. Wafts and waves of plasma energy that served as a colourful background and helped guide the eye around the fast action. Of course, one of the benefits of Rocket being a space raccoon meant that at least Framestore had somewhere to start when faced with the task of creating the iconic creature, and the real-life double, Oreo, was used for some reference material. The art department dreamt up everything from towers, pillars, turbines, huts and railings, like a sort of VFX Lego set put together from 250 smaller models. Those 250 distinct models were used 85,000 times to build a city that spun up polygon counts over 1.2 billion on some render passes. In Tim Burton's Dark Shadows, not only was the movie set in the past, but some of the VFX techniques used were also a thing of the past. Burton chose to shoot the movie on film and used a complicated mix of miniatures, overcranked shots, actors recorded underwater for zero gravity effects, complex fur tricks and cutting edge camera projection. MPC London's main focus was on the effects unfolding in the foyer of Collinwood Manor, in the scenes between Barnabas Collins and his ex-lover Angelique. The action involved wooden statues coming to life, Angelique's gradually cracking skin, and a vengeful ghost. One of the VFX house's biggest challenges was transforming Angelique into a convincing living porcelain doll, which starts to crack into pieces. There were 115 shots that the team had to work through until her eventual calcification.
If you enjoyed this VFX breakdown, please give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget the links to the music in this video are in the video description, and be sure to let us know which movie you would like to see behind next.